built. So we are ready to talk about conversion between volume in one unit and volume in another unit. So we'll keep it kind of simple and do conversion between two metric units. However, when it comes to volume, the relationships you might have memorized from that table of values you're given are not going to be the same. Let's look at this for example, okay? So we're going to have, a, we've got a cube that's four centimeters on each side. So you find the volume of the cube by multiplying the side times the side times the side, which is to say four centimeters times four centimeters times four centimeters. Okay, so the volume of this cube, four times four times four, is 64 cubic centimeters. And notice the behavior of the units, where centimeters times centimeters times centimeters equals cubic centimeters. That's a property that's going to be very important to helping us find what we need here. We'll get to that. So anyway, the volume of this cube is 64 cubic centimeters. And now, okay, what are we going to do? Let's do a conversion, say, from cubic centimeters to cubic meters. Oops, uh, let's see. There we go. Cubic meters. So suppose we want to find the, vo the volume of this cube. What about in cubic meters? Okay, so in order to do that, you need to find a relationship between the two. And to build toward that, what's the relationship between cubic centimeters and cubic meters? Well, there is an extra step. Okay, now on your chart, it does say that uh, one centimeter equals 10 to the negative second meters, which is fine, but the issue is. A centimeter is different from a cubic centimeter, and if you just try to do a calculation with this number, it won't come out. So instead, you need to find the relationship between a cubic centimeter and a cubic meter. Okay, and here's what we're going to do with it. We're going to take 64 cubic centimeters, multiply it by a conversion factor of some kind, and from that conversion factor, we're going to get a final answer involving cubic meters. Now this conversion factor, if we look at this, we need to put units in there that cancel the units we don't want in the final answer and give us the unit we do want in the final answer. So that means meters cubed needs to be on top and cubic centimeters needs to be on bottom. This way cubic centimeters cancels cubic centimeters and goes away and cubic meters winds up being in the final answer. So now the question is, what goes here to take us from cubic meters, or rather from cubic centimeters, to cubic meters? Go. Okay, so uh, having done this now, let's find the relationship between the two. So I know this. So I'm going to take this and turn it into this form. And uh, let's clear this out. I'll use this space up here. Okay, so I'm going to say in parentheses, just to kind of keep things nice and neat. One centimeter is 10 to the negative second meters. Okay, this, this way we got kind of the same sort of thing here in terms of centimeters of some kind on the bottom, meters of some kind on the top. However, this is a different kind of centimeters, centimeters cubed versus centimeter, and this is different, this meters cubed versus meter. So in order to turn this into meters cubed, in order to turn this into centimeters cubed, we need to cube the entire relationship. And that's why I put it in parentheses to show that this action of cubing is happening to the entire relationship. Now, of course, when I say cubed, here's what that means. That means this times itself three times, as in this is equal to 10 to the negative second centimeters times itself three times. 10 to the negative second centimeters times 10 to the negative second centimeters. And on, that's on top. And then on the bottom is one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter. Sorry, I had that entirely wrong. That's meters on top. At any rate, now that I fixed that little mistake, uh, okay, when you do that, meters times meters times meters is cubic meters, centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is cubic centimeters. One times one times one is uh, one. So. This would come out to, on the bottom, 1 cubic centimeter. And on top, 10 to the negative second times 10 to the negative second times 10 to the negative second. Well, what the heck is that? We can do it on a calculator. But this is something you don't need a calculator for, OK? You, when you times exponents, you just add them together. 
So negative 2 plus negative 2 makes negative 4, plus negative 2 makes negative 6. So 10 to the negative 6 meters cubed. Okay, and again, when you multiply exponents, you just add them together. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4, plus negative 2 is up to negative 6. That's where this came from. So now I've got meters cubed over centimeters cubed, which is exactly what I'm looking for here. So I put that same thing into this equivalency, or rather in, into this uh, conversion factor. So 10 to the negative 6 cubic meters is equal to 1 cubic centimeter. Okay, so what does that give me in the end? It gives me 64 times 10 to the negative sixth. Okay, now what I can do is, to make that a little easier still is I can change 64 into 6.4 times 10 to the first centimeters cubed. Your final answer is going to be in scientific notation. So instead of having to move around decimals at the end, it's actually easier to do this. So let's cross that out to remind ourselves that we're done with that. We've changed it into this form. So 6.4 times 10 to the 1 cubic centimeters. Centimeter, cubic centimeters cancels cubic centimeters. Final answer is cubic meters. So we multiply these by each other. 10 to the first times 10 to the negative 6. You're basically going to take 1 plus a negative 6. And that's going to add up to negative 5. So 1 plus a negative 6 is negative 5. So what that means is 6.4 times 10 to the first times 10 to the negative 6 comes out to 6.4 times 10 to the negative fifth cubic meters. So there you go. Your volume in cubic centimeters converted to cubic meters.